Good afternoon, my dear fellow friends, distinguished teachers, faculties, and honorable guests. Today, I'm going to talk about a special group of people. Let's first imagine a situation that gives you an aching void and helplessness. It is a scene that when you stay alone at home with no one to talk to or chat with, nobody to give a hand when you get in any trouble or make a mess, everything should be done by yourself autonomously. But at that moment, you are rather feeble. What an awful situation it is, isn't it? If you are just the protagonist of this kind of condition, you may grip, oh God, never let me be at home alone. What about my ball fellows? Playing basketball is my daily life. And some other people may query if this kind of solitary life has any meanings because human beings are instinctively gregarious animals. Yes, they are both right. But actually, I want to point out that this kind of life is in fact the daily life of those people who are called the elderly people. As they are large in population, and they can commonly seen in every family, from this perspective, they are not the so-called minorities. However, among this immense group, there still exists a small part of people who are not only hoary, but also an unequal and vulgar treatment by their children or young people who exaggerate themselves into the mainstay of the society. This kind of vulgar treatment is not physical abuse. It is isolation, discrimination, infringement, mockery. They will add inerasable and perpetual psychological injury to them. When I was a child, it was my grandma that accompanied me. At that time, I was, I was really naughty, always good at creating troubles. Um, so, when I was 11 years old, because of the unsuitable environment, my grandma therefore found an excuse because uh, she did not want to add any burdens to our family. Then she determined to go back to her hometown and settle down there for her remaining life. There were indeed some of my relatives, but all of the same is that they were too busy. They get up at seven and return home at seven and could not spare out any time to champion her at all. So as a result, she only lived a lonely existence with herself. She always pretended her being fulfilled and content, leave us a false assumption that she did not need any care at all. But once, ever since that, I occasionally knew that she sometimes even burst into tears because of her longing for her deceased mom. Then I suddenly realized that she still has unspeakable and tremendous painful in her heart caused by her loneliness. Compared to us people who have the privilege to make a living or work independently, she could not change anything because her life, her fate has already been determined. My grandma is a most typical one, and sometimes the situation is far more complex. Let me tell you an uh, anecdote uh, on my way of a cozy and vibrant trip to Nanjing. By the way, there stood an uh, aged beggar who was asking me uh, who was asking me fervently for my almsgiving. And at that time, my action was quite a little bit different from what I accustomed to doing. I changed my route. I walked directly to her and began a seemingly casual talk. She told me that she had two children, a boy and a girl. The girl who was marrying to an affluent family and would never come back to her. Well, this has already been unfortunate enough when mentioning her son. Her face suddenly turned even more dismal, and her eyes became dim, just like the most delicate part of her injury part was prodded with a sharp spear. When her son was only six months old, he became an, uh, he became an unfortunate infant with cerebral palsy, which means he basically lost all 
his abilities to take care of himself. When his parents get retired, their financial condition escalated and then just crumbled. So they had no choice but to come to the street and ask for others' beneficiation unblushingly and pitifully. At that moment, I felt really sympathetic. I took out 50 yuan and handed her and hoping to buy her a lunch. Her facial, uh, her facial impression really left me a strong impression that could never be erased. Compared to us people who have, uh, have the privilege to earn a living, she, they, they, these beggars are just marginalized. This is just a natural circulation for all of us. There will always be one day for you, you and also myself to be old and vulnerable. But I think at that day, everyone will all hoping to be treated as well as enough. So as we are all vigorous and productive now, I hope everyone could be more kind and enthusiastic to them. Never exert apathy, discrimination, or even harsh treatments on them. Never take their devotions for granted. And never make busy an excuse so that leave them alongside and isolated. In the biblical scripture, God is always portrayed as the appearance of old men. Why is that? That's because old people symbol sophistication, experience, and wisdom. So we as a whole ought to respect to those people who are experienced, sophisticated, and wise. I always insist that the reason why minority, this name exists is because we should eliminate it. We should change the identity from minorities into simple, normal, but gregarious majorities like us. And that is the call and mission for everyone. Thank you, that's the end of my speech.